bought a billboard and you're probably wondering why. Initially, I wasn't even gonna make a video on this and I just thought it was gonna be like funny meme that some people would just like randomly stumble across, but it kind of went like mega viral over the past like couple days. So I figured it's probably best to like sit down and explain and just kind of go through the thought process behind the billboard and just kind of just like talk about it. Cause I think it's pretty funny. There was a tweet that went out a couple days ago and it has 7.2 million views right now. And it's Geo Rainbow is on a billboard in Boston. And so yeah, I, I literally just bought a billboard in Boston near like a college because I thought that's like where the most students or people that like watch my videos were gonna be. It's just like a random billboard. So yeah, the tweet went out and everyone's like, who put this man's face on there? And why did they pick this image of him? They did man's dirty, okay? I picked the image, I did the design, okay? Everything was chosen by me. And it's honestly because I just wanted to be on Street View. That's the only reason. On February 24th at like 2 a.m. my time, it went out, so this is a week ago today. It's 7.2 million views already. And it said Geo Rainbow is on a billboard in Boston. And I just quote retweeted it and I said like, I wanted to be on Street View forever so I bought a billboard, which is why I bought the billboard. And it literally got 118,000 likes in like a week, which is kind of absurd. So maybe that was worth it in hindsight. I initially was like, wasn't gonna say anything about it at all and just like let it be in the abyss. And like hopefully a couple of people that drove by would find it funny. And hopefully that the Google Street View car would drive by. And I think one of the main questions was that people were asking like, how would you know if the Google Street View car is gonna drive by? The real answer is you don't. <laughs> I probably wasted a lot of money on this because the Google Street View car is never probably gonna drive by. Uh, usually, if you guys don't know, Google Street View does have like a, a schedule that you can go through and like look at when they're covering different uh, countries. And they even break down the US by state. I don't think they've updated 2023 that far yet from what I can tell. So I'm kind of just betting and hoping they do. And you know, in major cities like Boston is why I picked a major city. They update it more than they do in like rural areas. So the chances of it being on Street View are higher. But yeah, it went mega viral. I mean, it like went out of the Twitter sphere, right? I posted Instagram too, my Instagram story. And that also like got a lot of feedback and like tons of people are taking photos with it. So if you guys see it in Boston, take a photo with it, it's kind of funny. Like the reason I did it was just because I wanted to be on Street View and I thought it'd be freaking hilarious if some people that have no idea who I am just started driving through Boston and they see this face looking at you just driving down the road like you would have no idea without any context this is crazy like i'm not promoting anything I'm, I'm just having fun okay it's just something i've always wanted to do so i did it right but the feedback from it is the best part as soon as i posted this in the tweet and viral i had like four different reporters from boston reach out to me i'm like okay i'll just answer a call right I go to bed because it was like 2 a.m in thailand and i wake up and i'm on the news in boston and so i'm like what the heck what is there to make a news segment about this let's just watch it real quick you might have noticed this billboard in Alston. You might not understand its meaning. It reads, quote, this is Boston. Nice. The billboard is for GeoGuessers, an online Bro. game challenging players to identify random locations using only Google Street View. The person featured on the billboard is YouTube and TikTok personality Trevor Rainbow. Hey, TikTok personality, we made it. It's pretty cool to watch. I thought that was Trevor. I, I didn't really recognize him there at first. <laughs> Is that a joke? Initially, like, what I was gonna do is I was gonna buy, like, a This Is Boston billboard and put This Is Houston on it. So if anyone ever gets it on, like, GeoGuessr, they just, like, get Omega baited. But I was like, nah, that'd be kind of too weird. So yeah, it made the news. But the best part about it making the news is that it made Facebook, which is, like, the best thing ever. Because of the feedback, like I said, if you guys, like, don't know who I am and you're just, like, driving down the street and you see this man's face just staring at you very menacing, listen, it's not the most flattering photo. I understand that. I feel like most people probably want to put, like, a photo where they look their most pristine self where it's like omega sexy right i don't give a fuck, okay this is just the photo that's like people use to meme me right you have to embrace it you know like the romanian pizza box like this is the photo they use right and so it's like okay i'll just use the photo because it's funny it's all it's all about fun we're just having fun over here it made boston 25 news and the boston globe which is kind of funny like i'll take that i unironically just said that we'll take that but yeah so the best part of making like this mainstreamish news is that we get facebook comments out of it which is the best thing ever i just thought it'd just be nice to just like go through the facebook comments real quick because it is gold i'll read some of my favorites but basically just in a sphere of like having no context of like who i am this is like you know maybe i could have put it in like a place where there's nicer people but honestly i'm kind of glad i didn't because like the reaction from local bosses who are like over the age of 40 and use facebook in their free time is like the best thing ever what a waste of time and resources tiktok star good lord he looks like the dude from con air with this, I don't even know what Connor is. Maybe that's just a boomer take, but okay. I, I, I see it. Look, he, they, they're kind of spitting, okay? Ridiculous. Fools will play. Creepy. Looks like a Dahmer type person. What? 
Exact look characteristics make someone look like a cannibal. I mean, if I were to create a list, I'd start with this guy. Why is this in the news? Creepy looking. He looks like a threat to national security. His face says that all the evil stuff he's thinking of doing. Like, I, like people are weird about it, which is the best part, you know? It makes me want to keep the billboard up even longer. Because, like, you know, like, Karen driving down the street, like, ah, oh, that darn TikTok star again. Get rid of this billboard already. For attention, perhaps? Yeah, kind of, I guess. Now I can look for Boston. So freaking stupid. Okay, shout out to Alexandria Fairfield, the real one. And then shout out to Brittany. Okay, so Boston, you know, it's not all bad. I thought that was funny though. I love reading comments from boomers on Facebook. I think that's like the most unironically like the funny thing ever is that someone can be uh, upset over a billboard that's promoting nothing. It's gonna be up for a month. I got it for like the whole month of March. Someone already went there and took a photo of it. So technically it is on Street View, just unofficial coverage, but this is Boston nice. So if you guys want, I'll put a link to this. I guess the photos here in the description. Yeah, it's pretty harmless. And I honestly just kind of wanted to do it for the memes and just kind of just like try and be on Street View. And then I know there are also people saying like, won't Street View like blur your face? Maybe. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Most billboards I don't really think get blurred. Usually it's license plates and people on the side of the streets and things like that. But it's a possibility, you know? But if I take that, I'll take that on. That's something, you know, that I'm willing to, to live with. It, it was worth it with the response already. So yeah, I mean, I just kind of want to make this video just as like an update to like inform you guys that one, it's a thing. It was not cheap. Okay. It's up there for a month it's plastered my face i remember when i first saw it for the first time i like physically cringed because i was like dude it's weird when it's like my own face you know maybe the facebook comments were right it is not a very flattering photo okay that's such an iconic photo though you, can, you have to use that photo oh also i originally had it as a qr code instead of a smiley that went to the tiktok of me going have you ever gotten a snapchat from a girl no this is thailand have you ever gotten a snapchat from a girl no this is thailand but due to the regulations for billboards they made me remove the qr code for safety which is obvious so i just put the smiley there instead but yeah that was kind of just like the lore behind the billboard if you guys weren't on twitter or anything like that so that's that. Life is short. Uh, I can do what I want. And if you ever get Boston and GeoGuessr, I hope you can get a good score now. It was worth the money. <laughs> I wasn't promoting anything, but it does go in line with nice. You guys are interested in the merch. You know, I don't want to say that, okay? Because I don't want this to be a promo because it wasn't a promo. It was just good timing, okay? But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, like, subscribe, or don't. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.